We rode near Farmington Canyon where there is 11 feet of snow on the ground and over 50 inches of water, nearly burying the Snowtail site. Now on Monday, more snow came with strong winds during an intense period of precipitation. This formed a lot of soft slabs of wind-drifted snow. Looking around today, we saw plenty of evidence of these wind slabs that had released naturally all along steep ridge lines that had been loaded by yesterday's winds. The good news is that even though there are layers deeper in the snowpack on which avalanches can break, most of these had healed up and they didn't get a big enough load on Monday to cause them to break deeper. The main thing was just to avoid being up where these avalanches had happened to enjoy some safe riding. Looking ahead with the stormy weather this week, a lot can happen, so make sure to check the forecast. Certainly avalanches will break within the new snow and any wind drifted snow. But of course, if we get a big heavy load, that could cause avalanches to step down and break a bit deeper in the snowpack. Regardless of what happens during these storms, things will stabilize and we'll have some great Utah sunshine and powder to ride soon enough.